Hello, my lovelies. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations. I hope you are all doing well. Today's video is super excited for me and it is a new one as I am trying out this uh, Echo Pour water based resin like Jasmomite. And it is a new product from Just For You Online UK. And I got it. And yes, today I will try it out. So I will be attempting to make some coasters. And for this particular product, the mix ratio by weight is two and a half parts powder to one part liquid and the working time is 10 to 20 minutes and it's touch dry 20 to 40 minutes and it says on their website that unmolding is one to two hours so it is really fast really fast to get it in the mold and then really fast to unmold it which is going to be quite unusual for me and the good part is that you don't need to wear respirator or gloves as it is all water-based and yeah, no toxic ingredients. I'm not sure what is the exact difference between Jasmomite and this product, but I think they are quite similar at the end. And also regarding the pigments and colors uh, on their website, uh, they say that you can use any their colorant. But I have seen people using mica and I noticed that you need really a lot uh, powder to make it visible so i ordered some testing pigments for jasmomite of etsy and they can be quite expensive and as i wasn't sure what exactly to get i got just a little bit just test out and here i am mixing and at that point i'm thinking it is too thick. I should add a little bit more liquid and as well in back of my mind there is little voice that says Leanne hurry up mix faster do faster you don't have lots of time so yeah and uh, mixing should be about three to five minutes and honestly, I found that this beating uh, egg tool uh, works really well and not a lot bubbles. So here I will add now my pigments. And my idea was go green. So I started with light green as I wanted to make it kind of green and then a darker green and mix a little bit so after you pour you get this marble effect and as i'm adding and adding this pigment i notice that i need quite a lot of it so after some time i decide to add this dark green and yes, I mix a little bit and then I gonna move on to the pouring. And I have these triangle coaster molds and they are brand new, nothing fancy from eBay, the cheap Chinese ones and i am pouring and i'm really excited at this stage
If you find this video useful, please click a like. And if you like videos about resin, consider to subscribe. I do upload twice a week. Thank you. And after it's been poured, quickly, quickly, I start to bang it and spread it and from all this banging the camera ran away but yeah you need to really go for it and tap as much as you can so that way all the bubbles goes and the surface is bubbleless And also it's good to have your molds on some kind of shelf or extra tile so you can really go for it and shake it as much as you can until you get bored. And as I had some echo resin left, uh, I decided to make my terrazzo chips so later I can add them to my other projects and make lovely terrazzo style items so for this you need to spread quite thin your material on some plastic sheet the thinner the better and leave it to dry and at this point i don't know how much time has passed is it starting to cure already how will i know etc but then one moment I touched with my fingers and this sheet was already dry so I took it and now I am breaking it in small chips and it's really quite still fragile and it breaks really easily and the texture feels nice as well but really crumbly and of course you should do it almost straight after it cures touch dry because the longer you will leave it the harder it will become and by saying that you should try to spread it out as thin as possible it is because after the thicker it's harder to break it apart and you can see here i have quite a big chunk and a bit struggle but this process really made me relax and I enjoyed it a lot so after I done the chips it was time to demold these coasters and I am still in shock how fast it all goes in a blink on a eye and look at that my first I want to say jesmomite but it's not jesmomite my first eco friendly resin coasters and I am really happy how they turn out and they weigh quite a bit you can really feel that it is different material more like a concrete and the surface is so smooth I don't know if it's because the molds are new or it's just the material but it feels so smooth and so after this I will leave them until next day 
So they harden up and then I will come and try to sand the back sides because they are quite rough and of course I want to make them look better. But yeah, very happy. And here are the finished result. I sand the back side with wet sandpaper and here are my first eco-friendly resin coasters and I'm really happy. I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.